Welcome back to the Green Iron Expert. Today we're going to continue our SEC football predictions and today's team, the Texas A&M Aggies. Tensions are running high in Texas A&M after three straight 8-5 and five seasons. Kevin Sumlin has quickly found himself on the hot seat, and if he can't get immediate success this season, he may as well be fired, and Texas A&M will be looking for another coach. So they open up the season at UCLA. Last year, UCLA took Texas A&M to overtime, but somehow the Aggies survived a win, which really jump-started their season, or the first half of their season. So now they travel to UCLA, where Josh Rosen and the, and the Bruins are, have much higher expectations, and I think a and is going to lose this game. I mean, it's out there on the West Coast. Rosen and UCLA are really going to be Pac-12 uh, title contenders this season, and I don't think a and is going to get it done. So then they get two uh, you know, little cupcake teams uh, against, against Nichols and Louisiana. Easy wins there. So 2-1 and one going into their first SEC game against Arkansas. Texas A&M has not lost to Arkansas since they've joined the SEC. That's five straight wins over Arkansas. I think the streak ends this year, and A&M will lose to Arkansas at Jerry's World. I just don't think they're going to be able to beat Arkansas. I think Arkansas is going to be a little fired up after a poor uh, season last year. A&M loses that. So then they get Carolina at home. I think they easily bounce back there, even though South Carolina is improving. I think that's a win. Alabama, even though it's at home, they haven't beaten Alabama in a couple years, uh, probably since the Manziel days, but they have given them fights, but I don't think at home is going to matter that much as a loss for Texas A&M. At Florida, Florida's greatly improved. It's hard to win in the swamp. Uh, I think that's another loss for A&M there. So things aren't looking good. That's already four losses. So three and four. Um, yeah, three and four, actually, with three conference losses. Uh, so now they get a much-needed bye week after a poor start. Get Mississippi State back at home. I think that is a win there. I've been praising Nick Fitzgerald, but I don't think he's going to be able to lead a win at Kyle Field. Auburn at home, that's going to be a very fun matchup to watch uh, between those two offenses, but uh, I think Auburn's going to get the win there uh, at A&M. I think Auburn, you know, as you saw in my previous videos, they're uh, improving a lot this season, but I'm not buying into the hype. New Mexico, easy win for the last stretch of SEC games. If you remember last year, Texas A&M still had a minor outside shot uh, to reach the college football playoff when they hosted Ole Miss. But Ole Miss, after losing Chad Kelly, came in with Shea Patterson and upset A&M in College Station, uh, which completely ended Texas A&M's season. All their hopes were gone. I think now that a and is traveling to Ole Miss, I think they're going to get revenge on Ole Miss there. Uh, like I said, Ole Miss just isn't going to be that good this year. Next year, definitely, but not this year. And A&M closes out the season at LSU. We all know Death Valley is a hard place to play. LSU's improved a lot. And A&M, I don't think they're going to be able to win in Death Valley, which leaves the Aggies at not good enough. Six and six record. I think Kevin Sumlin will get fired after this season with a six and six record. That's not good enough to compete in the SEC. I know they didn't have as many good players this year as they did last year, but... Still, after three straight and five seasons to take a uh, major setback like that, I think Kevin Sumlin will be gone after a 6-6 six and six record. Please continue to like and subscribe and leave any teams you'd like to see predicted or leave predictions of your own in the comments. And please stay tuned until the next time on the Gridiron Expert.